It's time for another Undertale race. But who is my opponent today? What's the challenge? Well, I tried to beat the neutral route before my opponent could beat me. And my opponent was time. Randall wasn't available during this week's recording, so I had to think on my feet. And my idea was to race against time itself. I had one hour and 10 minutes to beat the neutral route. So let's begin. The run started out as usual, being a psychopath flower who doesn't deserve to be soulless. Now let me tell you, I have no clue what the neutral glitch speedrun route is, so I had to think of strategies during my run, and let me tell you, that went horribly. My plan was to just do the genocide route and back out just before Metaton, but I had no idea what the genocide speedrun route was either. Regardless, the ruins was simple, just kill monsters in the room before the save point before Bluki, and that worked just fine. Toriel got destroyed, and I moved on to Snowden. And here's where I made fatal mistake number one. I would usually just kill all the monsters in the first room here, but I decided to try a different area to grind. My first idea was to grind in the room with Lesser Dog and the dog couple, and then I met Jerry. Now I've only ever encountered Jerry on my first Undertale playthrough about six years ago, and the only thing I can remember was that this freak had an 800 defense stat. So my plan was just flee after killing the other monsters. And that's when I realized I couldn't flee, and I accidentally spared it. I thought my genocide part of this run was over because of that, but little did I know, that just wasn't the case. All I had to do was continue to kill the required monsters, but in the moment, I was freaking out. So I just continued the run and hoped that I was fine. And then I encountered another Jerry. I just spared it again since I wouldn't have any consequence doing it a second time, and that worked thankfully. I killed the greater dog and made my way to the empty town of Snowden. I stole the mandana from the shop so I could basically skip Manatoni X, but little did I know, I wasn't even going to use it. Papyrus fell on one hit just like Toriel, and I made my way to my favorite area, Waterfall. Waterfall is easy in Genocide. You only actually ground like two encounters since all the other ones are scripted. I was low-key going to play Memory on the piano like I do every run, but now wasn't the time for that. I still had the goal to beat the neutral route in under 1 hour and 10 minutes. And Undyne was destined to give me trouble. I used to play this game in full screen mode, and Undyne was extremely easy for me in full screen. But I had stopped when I started speedrunning TP Glitchless, so I could quit out of the game a lot quicker. And the minimized game really throws me off during both this fight and Sans. Also, I somehow made it to Undyne at level 11. I don't think that's supposed to happen, but I'll take it, I guess. With my newfound power of the almighty level 11 during Undyne, I was confident I could beat her easily. But here is where I made fatal mistake number 2. I decided to record this gameplay at like 12 in the morning. Yeah, that wasn't the smartest idea. And you wanna guess the attack I died on? Fuck that broken hitbox. But other than that hiccup, the fight became quite easy again. It's all due to the power of level 11, I swear. But here is where I realized I only had about 30 minutes to beat the game. I knew that I couldn't beat Omega Flowey in that time, so my new goal was to at least kill Asgore instead. Anyway, Undyne dead, it's time to move on to Walking Simulator, aka Evacuated Hotland. Minaton ran away from me, I killed the rest of the Royal Guard, puzzles were already solved, 
Things were so easy. Until I got trapped in a spider web. Nah, I'm just joking. Muffet died in one hit like everyone else. And this is where I made a change in my plan. I realized that I was a complete idiot up until now. My initial plan was to spare Muffet so I could cancel out a genocide and fight Metatoni X. But why would I need to do that when I can just kill Metaton Neo without exhausting the core encounters? And so I did just that. And it worked. What the hell was my other plan when I could've just done this the entire time? I got heavily judged by Sans, and I made my way into the throne room. My goal of killing Asgore seemed very possible, but regardless, the race itself would be lost no matter what I did. I was just way too inexperienced in the speedrun route to complete it in time. But hey, at least he made it past Azure in the time I gave myself. But wait, Flowey, or should I say, Azriel, regained his control over the timeline and deleted my save file before I could finish the run. Therefore, this run is invalid and I neither won or lost the race. And while we're at it, let's just say Azriel also deleted my outro because I was too lazy to make one. Goodbye.